Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time on this channel, we do a lot of fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. Now, if that sounds like something that interests you guys, please do consider joining this family by subscribing. I'd appreciate it if you became part of this family. And to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Now, welcome to Mother's Day Middle Eastern Fragrance Recommendations. I thought to split them like this, guys. The part one was Western Fragrances. I just thought doing the videos this way would give you a lot of choice. I know Mother's Day has been and gone in some parts of the world but there are some a lot of countries that are yet to celebrate Mother's Day. Uh, so the reason behind this video is to help you if you are looking to purchase a gift for your mother and or for a uh, you know a mother figure. Now the first one on the list is going to be Berry Al Oud Amethyst and this is by Latafa. This guys is just spritz it a little. This guys is a sweet spicy soft rose and oud fragrance i think I, I can't get a lot of woodsiness in this one so this is one fragrance that gets better with time it is an excellent gift guys guys on a budget because the presentation itself the fragrance itself the juice itself the performance this is a dna that is well blended so in as much as it is crowd pleasing it's gonna have a bit of some complexity to it there is some smokiness that you will get from here that's working together with that grown-up rose so definitely one that i think any mature a woman would like and i thought to put it here as the first one which is Betty al oud amethyst by latafa now number two on the list is going to be afnan's rare tiffany this is a complex scent uh it is a fragrance that uh just using my mental shortcut i think a lot of young people might find this a bit challenging a lot of young people might find this one a bit too much okay it is it is a heavy fragrance, if you will. It is a yellow, floral, and upbeat fragrance. It gives you a bit of some beachy vibes there, but dare I say it's not fresh either. It doesn't come across as a freshy. So uh, by saying beachy vibes, you know, not to be mistaken that this is going to be a freshy kind of blue fragrance. It is musky. It has those florals. also has a sandalwood here. 80s vibes, absolutely. And it is here because I see a lot of grown women, you know, kind of liking this fragrance, but do take note that it is quite on the heavy side. So it's also going to depend on uh, the person that you're gifting, whether they can actually do a fragrance that is so, you know, in your your face like this one because that is what i get from afnan's rare tiffany the third fragrance is le intense rouge addiction by maison alhambra obviously duping givenchy's learn to d uh, parfum rouge i haven't used mine a lot because this is winter appropriate so this is one that um, can turn a little stuffy it is heavy it is spicy it has the white florals with the ginger and the blood orange beautiful dna very rich very smooth a little bit creamy but i wouldn't say buy this one you know for the creaminess but i do get a little bit of a creaminess there possibly from the tuberose absolutely a nostalgic kind of feel so this is definitely a fragrance that reminds me of how fragrance with fragrances were done in the 90s and that is the reason i thought to include it here le intense rouge by Maison Alhambra. This little fragrance here is one that surprised me. This is called Tutti uh, Musk. And I know the name is very youthful. The fragrance itself is a fun fragrance. But I thought to throw it on this list because it's not everybody that's going to like, you know, the thick, dated, heavy aldehydes kind of fragrance. So this gives a little twist in the tan that I have here. This introduces the wearer to a fruity blast. It has blackberry, it has blackcurrant and raspberry. So it's going to be a berry forward scent a punch of rose there as well and just a lot of fruity like juicy fruity notes it has a great lasting power uh, surprisingly so you know for our rehab i thought um you know I, I i was dismissing our rehab perfumes for a very long time especially this one i didn't think much of it i honestly purchased it because i was curious as to how it would compare with eden juicy apple by kali and no they're not the same but they are both fruity and this has a lasting power that is way way better than the Kali one uh the Kali Eden Juicy Apple although no this does it's not the same thing I'm just saying this just 
in case you want to know because i've just said that is the reason why i purchased it so i feel this is for a fun loving woman young at heart doesn't matter about the age but the young at heart loves the juicy uh gourmand kind of fragrances easy to like as well so yes definitely on number four is our rehab tutti musk on our number five guys is probably the one of the best from this and this is going to be from latafa and this is unsum gold my latest obsession i wear this one to bed i wear this one in the morning i wear this one after the bath because i just enjoy it this is understated elegance this is luxury without screaming it is alluring it's classy it's not necessarily the fragrance that is going to be smelt to the next town it doesn't have that aldehyde feel the 80s feel it doesn't have that i just thought i should recommend it here because there is a certain woman that is going to go crazy with this fragrance so yes if you are wondering what to pick definitely a recommendation a creamy marshmallow sweet candied uh, fragrance that is not uh immature it does carry a matureness there but doesn't push it obviously to like the uh very ancient days but you know delivering what it has to deliver latafa's unsum gold now number six on this uh list i also have a kind of like a fresh review for this fragrance this is ajmal evoke gold and this is uh another one that has the mature feel it has like a mature jasmine there okay so this is a no-brainer if you're looking to gift um a mature woman a fragrance this will definitely do it it has in itself a sweetness there it has like an apple opening uh but that fruitiness there ends up making way to a soppy jasmine so for that reason i thought this is definitely one that uh because it dries down mature uh a lot of women are going to like this and the composition in itself is well blended so absolutely a recommendation here with a beautiful bottle to match is going to be ajmal evoke gold for her the next one guys is rose 01 by swiss arabian i'm pretty sure you guys know that delina is very popular amongst women so i thought to put this one here because it is duping delina and because delina is very popular amongst women it just goes to show that it is a scent profile that a lot of women are comfortable uh, carrying around it is a rosy forward uh also has a some incense there a little bit of some smokiness there sweet as well so i thought this would be perfect as a gift especially if you're looking for something with a decent lasting power as well uh, it is likely going to be a safe blind buy and i thought to put it here rose 01 by swiss arabian the next fragrance here guys is a softy um, reason why I had to include this one in as much as it does have a little bit of Delina wafts there. I included this one because it's not everybody that would want their fragrance to be upbeat. Now this is not duping Delina but they, it does have like um, it, it does share a little bit of some similarities there especially with the rhubarb and the lychee. This one is duping uh, Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo and it's called Narcotic Flower and this particular one is by Maison Alhambra. This is a light scent with every Everything presented delicately there it has a gentle rose it's everything in here is gentle it is summery in nature but i think it can also hold its own for cool evenings so that is why i thought i would you know put it here and definitely one that is likely to tick any woman's boxes guys narcotic flower by maison alhambra second from the last on this list guys is going to be opulent musk opulent musk is by latafa i wore the heck out of this fragrance i'm just keeping a little bit there so that i have I have it in my collection for reference sake. Opulent Musk is a warm, spicy, woodsy, aromatic scent. It has been likened to Tiziana Terenzi's Spirito Florentina. I haven't put my nose on that, so when I did a review, I didn't know, I didn't mention that. I, I all I could say was it does have wafts of Baccarat Rouge, uh, 540 with like a, a, an aromatic take there. So yeah, definitely one that I feel is gonna tick the boxes, especially if uh, you are gifting somebody who likes maybe niche fragrances, who likes something different. It does have like a little. little bit of a tanginess there some uniqueness you know is in this fragrance it also has a lot of layers so this is not a linear fragrance and it is likely to uh, impress anybody really so definitely one to look for there if you were looking for um you know a perfect gift and i think the bottle itself is quite nice i think the bottle is beautiful so this is latafa's opulent now, last but not least this is number 10 guys i put it here because of the bottle the juice okay is a cherry on top but i thought this bottle has got this thing it looks like an ornament on its own okay so um atar collection kalta night is going to be for the woman who likes niche fragrances as well this is a very boozy fragrance it does have a cherry there let me just remind myself a little 
okay yeah it is a boozy cherry a drunken cherry if you will so it's gonna really tick the boxes for somebody who likes something different it has a moderate sweetness as well and this one i think you may want to purchase for somebody who has a couple more fragrances in their collection because this particular one uh is not very versatile if you will i i wear this this any day at any time but i'm just saying if you're gifting it to somebody who is just going to use it as a solo scent this might not actually uh, be a fragrance that works because it lacks in versatility in a way because of that booziness not everybody want to wants to smell that way uh, all the time it also is winter leaning or evening leaning if you will so it's really going to depend on uh, the recipient or the person you're going to be purchasing this fragrance for but i thought you know because it is a different uh, fragrance they're niche in nature boozy we don't have anything boozy here boozy i thought to edit here just you know for somebody who's looking for something different at our collection and this one is called halter night so there you have it guys that was our number 10 and these were middle eastern fragrance recommendations for mother's day i just didn't want to do a video you know mixing and matching them so i decided to split them this one's the middle eastern one part two and that will be the last of the mother's, mother's day recommendations the part one is already posted in case you're looking for a western uh you know fragrance to gift uh, a mother figure or your mother on mother's day thank you so much guys for joining me today i hope you found this video helpful i know there's a lot of other fragrances to recommend out there but do take note that these were based off of my collection c chronicles is my name thank you so much for watching guys please do remember to subscribe if you haven't already also turn on post notifications that way you get to be notified anytime i post a video like and share this video and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers